quiere. Un calor. I am among all these endless scrolls. Huh. I find that Thanos talks too much. He has some interesting ideas. Very radical. It's almost alarming. You're right about that. But can't he express them concisely? Oh. The knowledge of the entire world is at your fingertips. Here, one can reflect upon the oppressive regime under which we find ourselves laboring. The Alexandrian poets, have I mentioned them, are a group of dramatic artists dedicated to promoting free thinking throughout the land, no matter what the pharaoh says. Despite the fact that the ruling pharaoh is given to arbitrary and despotic decrees, here at the library we support free study, any topic you like. Therapies. Now what? Ah, where is Aya? Ah, Serapis. I wrote a tragic comic pastoral epic centered on him. Ah. You're by, I guess. Aya's eager to see you. What she said. Quickly, follow me. I am sorry, my good fellow. You appear to be drunk. This library is for serious scholars only. She is in hiding. Who are you? Ah, interested in Homeric verse, eh? This way, please. Uh -huh. I am Aya's cousin, Phanos. Ah, yes, Phanos. Nice to meet you in person. Tell me what is happening with Aya. Why are you being so discreet? Gennadios sent his men on a house-to-house -house search. Often, they drag people into the street and torture them for information. Typical of the system we live under. Gennadios. A monster. The Philakitai of Alexandria. He is ravaging the city to find her. And where is she now? I have a very powerful friend, Apollodorus. No doubt you have heard of him. I have not. You will. In any case, he made a hiding place available to Aya after she ran into trouble. Yeah, but what happened? You do not answer me. It is a mess of political intrigue. She will explain all, fear not. <laughs> Look! There's Thanos! He thinks he's a poet! The modern Sophocles. You must hear his epic poem, Ode to an Anigoat. This is as far as I go. The way to Aya is found in the monument ahead. Right there. Have a little faith. Never again should we spend months apart. We only have each other. Without him, what? Let us be together. Us two. 
Each to each. I have news. You are scarred by justice. Ah. I bludgeoned Bedunamun with this. I hate that we have to do these things. But I am grateful that you did. If I am honest, I took pleasure in it. I've missed your touch. I have missed touching you. <laughs> I killed as well. Acteon. I hunted him down and discovered a mask in his room. When he returned, I forced him to wear it. Then I thrust this knife through his eye slits. Aya. But I was careless. Another of the masked ones tracked me to my home. It was even more difficult. We have one more. Then, we will be done. Look at this. I took it from Acteon. Apollodorus tells me it is a papyrus from the Royal Council, which means the snake is in Ptolemy's court. How does this Apollodorus know these things? He has informants everywhere, because of his work with Cleopatra. But Cleopatra? She's been declared a criminal. <laughs> By her treacherous brother, yes. She plans to take back the throne. She wants the snake dead as much as we do. And she trusts me. She gave me this. ...to slit his throat. It's an ancient blade that killed the tyrant Xerxes. A weapon of justice. <laughs> Ingenious. Ah. I will go to the palace and discover who uses the seal of the snake. And I will use this. You'll find plenty of information in the Royal Scribe's office. He spends his time at the bathhouse. Go search the palace while he's away. And you? I cannot leave here as long as Gennadios walks the streets. He is determined. What's this? <laughs> that leads to the docks. I can't believe Thanos had you go through the pit. I cannot leave here as long as Gennadios walks the streets. He is determined to kill me. In addition to the snake, I will see what I can learn of this Gennadios and silence him. Discover who the snake is and show him the face of death. I'll meet you at the Paneo when you have killed both the snake and Gennadios. My heart aches until I see you again. As does mine, my love. Who is the snake? I have yet to discover that. The clue must be there in the palace. Search for the seal found upon the letter. It's too dangerous to leave this den as long as Gennadios and his men are searching for me.
Serapis, God of Divine Majesty and Lord of the Sun, someone has placed a mark upon you. The scorpion is the sign of circuit. Huh. Curious, sinister writings. This poor man was half eaten by crocodiles, but only after he died. Someone prepared him for burial and cut out some of his sacred organs. His stomach, at least, was removed. The symbol. A dedication to Serket, the goddess of magic. The scorpion. Old blood stains this table. I think the body was prepared here, but crudely. This is no fine skilled work. These deaths seem like a kind of perverse ritual against the gods. Who or what is driving it? Statue of Sobek, Lord of the Nile. But he is contained within a symbol that invokes Circuit, the Scorpion Goddess of Magic. Dark and foreboding invocations. Looks like the pilot got away, but left embalming tools. the sarcophagus by Feluca. Pretty remote place for this. Some of those marks on the body look like the sacred organs were removed. At least the lungs are gone. These deaths are a harrowing journey into madness. What could the perpetrators hope to gain by invoking the goddess of magic? Second track looks lighter. I suspect the sarcophagus was transported by cart. It is inscribed to the mark of circuit, the scorpion goddess. But where is the body? <laughs> this perverse poetry celebrates chaos. It invades all that is divine and just. deserve to be dragged underwater by these hippos. An 
it appears you are prepared for the afterlife by a clumsy butcher with no thumbs. Where's your liver? This happened recently, and the cart may not have traveled far. There may be more to this mystery nearby. Those responsible should not be allowed to do this again. Sarcophagi inscribed with the mark of circuit. How much death does she require? What is that sound? Voices? Ghosts? Demons? I need to find the source of the chanting. Mysterious killings have led here. This symbol is old. This place is from a long time lost. Is this insolence? Who dares to intrude upon our most sacred work? Sacred? A trail of death led me here. This cavern reeks of the profane. Are you the bloody hand responsible? The goddess Serket is she who tightens the throat and the one who lets us breathe. I do her will. I am her sting. All of the souls were chosen from lesser faiths. But we study their organs and read the signs. Soon we will know Serket's secrets and become immortal. This was your last chance to win the goddess's favor. Let's test your immortality, shall we?
The ravings of a madman. <laughs> Profane ravings to the gods. Too late to save this one. You will be the last victim of this cassette ritual. Oh. I arrived too late to save this one. You will be the last victim of this cassette ritual. Papa, when you met Mother, how did you know she liked you? My heart lit on fire, of course. She smiled at me, and her eyes rendered me helpless. So if a girl likes you, she smiles at you? Son, there are some things I can't explain to you. The stars, how to fight, but this is something not even the gods can tell. You will have to ask a goddess. Hathor, goddess of motherhood and joy. She is loved by all in Egypt, from the least to the greatest, mistress of the West. She welcomes the dead to the afterlife. Those are the scales, called Konsu. When we die, the goddess Ma'at weighs our hearts on them against her white feather. I remember this. 
If our hearts appear in light, we walk in the field of reeds. Very good. You are listening. The scales measure truth and justice, which is why Medjai pursue these two things above all others. That is Horus, the Falcon, the Great Black One, God of the Sky. The Sun is his right eye, and the Moon is his left eye. Forever he flies across the heavens, making night and day. The Eye of Horus is what the Magi wear? Yes, Remu. And the Pharaoh is Horus, right? Yes, my son. The Pharaoh is Horus in life and Osiris in death. That is why the Pharaoh rules not only Egypt, but the whole world. Only a true Pharaoh, though. Papa, you know how you're Egyptian and mother is Greek. What if Egypt and Greece go to war? Greeks and Egyptians do not hate each other. We are all the same. It feels like they do. A priest in the temple school said Greeks were destroying Egypt. He was wrong to say that. There is good and bad in everyone. You are the child of both Egypt and Greece. 
You are proof they do not hate each other. Ah, the great twins. To the Greeks, they are twin brothers. To Egyptians, they are he-goats that rise from the underworld, bringing pestilence and protection. Even the gods have two sides. Papo, do you think I'll have many children? <laughs> hey, I hope you give your mother and I many grandchildren. I'll have to find a wife then. You are young, my son. There's no reason to rush. I won't rush. But what if I already know? You need to learn how to be a Magi first. Oh, Tawaret. The hippopotamus who walks. Lady of the birth house. She is the goddess of fertility and childbirth. Mistress of the horizon. She brings with her the yearly flood of Ar. Papo, why do people die? We are not gods. Everything must die. It is what a moon has ordained for us. Will we be together in the afterlife? Be brave and strong. Fight for justice. Do not lie. This is all anyone can do. Ma'at will decide if we are worthy to walk together in the field of reeds. I'm sure you will though. Your car is good. Pisces, the two fish, joined by the thread of this life, they are forever balanced between the afterlife and the underworld.
Papo, what is best in life? To seek justice and truth. To live with honor. To protect the weak and the poor. And to love your mother. My friend Kenan said it was to crush our enemies and to hear the lamentations of their women. We are Magi, son. Not barbarians. Apis, the bull god. He is the strength of the pharaoh. Each year, he is born as a calf with special markings. The pharaoh finds this calf and worships it. Hey, have you talked to this girl you like? I didn't say I liked her. We were friends, but she's being strange and avoiding me. Maybe because she likes you too. We often do not say what we mean. It will come to you in bursts. Why would she avoid me if she likes me? This is something your mother should explain. I am better with the stars. The god fish, called Capricornus by the Greeks. The god has the head of a ram and the body of a fish. You see? Even the gods do not always make sense.
Osiris was cut into 14 pieces by his jealous brother, who scattered the pieces throughout the land. Osiris' wife, he said, searched and found all the pieces except one. What happened to the other piece? It was eaten by a fish. It was his... Uh, so Osiris was resurrected and became lord of the underworld. Oh, so we couldn't have children anymore, huh? You are growing up far too quickly. Osiris, the father of gods, brother of Set, who murdered him. It is said that Iset's tears for her beloved husband created the Nile. Papa, how do you know if you're in love? Why, Kemu? Do you think you are in love? I don't know. Love should feel good. You and Mama are the only ones I love. But this hurts. Sometimes I can't even think straight. <laughs> that sounds like love. It could be. I was once like that. I'm very sorry, son. The scorpion goddess, Serket. She protected Iset and Horus from jealous Set. She still protects against poisonous animals, but not love. Against that, there is no protection. Not even the gods can. Magi have a duty to the gods. We must be strong and ready to fight. But we must only fight when it is just. I'll practice hard, Papa. I want to be strong and hunt like you do. You are already better with your weapons than many men. You will make a fine Magi, son. Like Mom says, may your victories multiply.
That is the last one. I can take all the shards back to Siwa now. to find every stone circle, the Sphinx and Pyramids too, and I'll find my place. My son. Your name, Hemu, means Egypt. Like Egypt. You are forever changed. The stars are yours now. And your place is with them. <laughs> 